Hi guys, Stan from Nile again with another exciting episode of Kiln Tech. Today I'm going to talk about kiln construction, specifically the walls and the ceilings. It's a pretty standard installation. Like anything else, the building itself is an outbuilding. To insulate it, and that is what you need to do specifically for a kiln. So what I recommend is between the studs, two inches of polyiso cut and to fit, and have it flush to this inside wall. Then two inches over the studs, completely along the kiln, not just the studs, that will make a thermal break between the studs so they can't carry the heat out, or the heat out of the kiln. Then vapor barrier and your plywood. Do this for the walls and the ceilings and then paint the inside of it with what was called a luminized roofing paint and the stuff you want to get is the stuff with the fibers. Now, this sample I'm using OSB just because we had it. We don't normally use plywood. We would normally recommend CDX plywood. If you have employees that are going to be loading the kiln, you might want to go three quarter inch just so that way if they hit it with any wood or anything, it's going to hold up better. If it's just yourself, maybe half inch. That's all for now on this episode of Kiln Tech.